hello, hello. Today is Throwback Thursday, and I am here today to talk about um, when God answers prayers that we pray, but he doesn't answer them the way that we thought that he should answer them, and how it, we can easily um, take our blessings for granted. Um, that's been something that's been on my mind since yesterday and um, I had to just repent to God and ask him to forgive me because um, I was just thinking about like just he just took me back on so many things that I asked him for and he answered he delivered but because it didn't all pan out the way that I specifically wanted it to pan out then I over easily overlooked that the blessing was right there all the time. And um, for example, um, when I was living my single life and I was out there bopping, yes, I said bopping, doing everything I wanted to do, clubbing and um, just doing the most. And I can remember um, doing uh, makeup for uh, other people's weddings and um, just, you know, going through that flow of being at the weddings and just feeling like, hey, when is my turn going to come? Like, Lord, why are you answering everybody's prayer but mine? And when I least expected it, he uh, brought my husband um, into my life. And I uh, have been asking God to love me through somebody. And I didn't actually know what that looked like, but in my mind, I felt like it was probably gonna be this uh, romantic, picture perfect um, thing, you know, that's a fairy tale. And it wasn't, but um, I can say that God sent me a man that loved me for me, like everything about me. I. I didn't withhold any secrets at all, and this man loved me. But because of how I felt about myself, it was easy for me to self-sabotage things and try to bring those things that I was feeling into the relationship because of how I felt about me. And so, um, God answered that prayer and just, I mean, almost 20 years later, I'm sitting here and I'm like, wow, um, God gave him patience. He gave him love. Um, he gave him understanding all for me because God knew everything I was going to need. And I was like, how many times have I sat up here and just was like, oh, things ain't going the way I want them to go. And all alone, you know, I have this man that loves me totally for me. And that's the kind of God we serve. He loves us in spite of everything that we do, any mess ups that we make, any um, disappointments that we have in ourselves. God still loves us. And, and that's how, um, that's how he is just so worthy of praise because he doesn't allow anything. He has no conditions. He doesn't allow anything to stop his love for us. Nothing that we can do will ever change the way he loves us. And sometimes we have to be careful and not take these blessings for granted because we can easily let them pass us by um, and not be able to give God the credit and the thanks for all that he's done because we're worried about all these other things that take our mind off of the blessings that are right before us you know um we all have things that we have to go through processes but we don't always want to go through the process we want it just like we asked it to go exactly the way that we asked it and then when it doesn't um we can easily find ourselves just out of focus and complaining and um, murmuring like, Lord, why, why this, why, why that? And then we tend to look at everybody else because baby, social media will make you look at other people's lives like, oh my God. And then you will instantly compare yourself to other people. And you know, truth, truthfully, everybody, everybody doesn't put 
100% truth on Facebook. Come on, let's be real. You know, everybody puts all the good things on Facebook. Nobody, like rarely you see somebody down in themselves and putting every uh, skeleton in a closet on Facebook. Like, yeah, no. Or Instagram or any social media platform. You're not going to do that. And so, um, it's, it's easy to get distracted by that, but we can be happy for people, whatever they post, be happy for them, congratulate them, but don't let it deter what God is doing for you and how your blessings are soon to come. So when people are celebrating, celebrate with them because know that God, he ain't left you out. It's just not time. But when you're ready and you're focused, and you are um, ready to receive the blessing, then he's gonna bring it forth. He's gonna manifest it right before your eyes when you will know that nobody did that but God. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here because I was like, oh my God, I have been ungrateful at times because God always come through. He always do. He doesn't come through the way we think he should, but he's going to always come through right in the nick of time. That's the type of God that I serve. That's the type of God that you should want to serve um, because he is just, just wonderful. I mean, he is just, just so he's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of all the honor um, that we could give him and, and worship him because he is a true God and he is our father. Um, he is everything. He's everything to me. And I, I am so grateful that he can bring these things to my mind so that I can really realize and take a look and sit back and focus on he is answering my prayers and stop complaining because God is a God of his word. He shall not lie. And his promises are always true. So I just wanted to share that with you today. And I pray that you will allow God to really be your all in all. And to let him to be the head of your life. And that you will serve him with all your being. Because what a mighty God we serve. Have a great day. listen to Life Chronicles with Yolanda. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in.